Hi children, welcome back to our class. Let's start a new lesson, Operating Systems. Have you studied about it in your previous classes? Okay, you know that Windows and Ubuntu are examples of operating systems. Let's get to know about operating systems through this chapter. Shall we start? Look at this figure. Have you ever seen this? This figure shows the main part of the first computer called the analytical engine which Charles Babbage, who is regarded as the father of computer, tried to build. It was meant to be operated using steam. Okay, just imagine it. The first computer, analytical engine, was made to be operated using steam. How different it is from the computers we use today? In spite of being very different from today's computers in structure and form, why is it called the first computer? Have you thought of it? It is because the basic concepts related to a modern computer were envisaged for this machine too. It even had a program. The famous mathematician Ada Byron had agreed to prepare it. But Babbage was not able to build a practical version of this. A working computer, that is ANIA, integrating all these ideas could be built only after 120 years. The science of computers developed further. Computers came to be built for many purposes. It has now reached a stage where there is just one computer for many purposes. Today, we use computers for multi-various purposes. There are a lot of software packages for accomplishing all these needs. Such software designed for specific purposes is called application software. Once again, the software designed for a specific purpose is called an application software. Clear? Let's move to our first activity, different activities using computer. Can you say the names of the software used for this purpose? The first one is given for you. For text processing, a V word. Open Office Writer. Then which softwares can be used for image editing? Yes. Jim Inkscape. Then the next one, Sound Editing. Audacity, Adobe Audition. Then name some animation softwares. Yes, Simfix Studio, Toon Boom, etc. Now, can you say any software for database handling? Ok, LibreOffice Base and Microsoft Access. Study well this table. Ok. So we have discussed about various application softwares. That is software meant for some specific purposes. And all the computers we use today have a general mode of operation to carry out the things we discussed about. Gnu Linux that is installed in the computers that we use today is an example of such a software. Such a working process is called an operating system, that is, the collection of application software which make the hardware run or the computer run is known as the operating system. Now, just like GNU Linux, Unix is also an operating system. Unix is an operating system that was built by Dennis Ritchie and Ken Thompson of Bell Laboratories in the United States of America. The work related to the production of it was started in 1969. They later transferred the ownership to many other companies. These versions came to be used later with a lot of modifications and additions in other operating systems made by Apple Corporation, Mac OS X, California University, Berkeley, BSD and others. Many other operating systems that are in existence today have been developed or redesigned following the model of Unix. Now let's see the needs to be satisfied with the operating system. First one, coordination of different application software packages. When there are several applications in a computer, they have to be properly arranged. The operating system that facilitates this purpose is called menu. See, this is the main menu of our computer, that is applications in ITH school, new Linux. Okay, so 
The first need to be satisfied with operating system is the coordination of different application software packages. Now we can move to the second point. The second point is that coordination of hardware parts. If any hardware part of a computer has to work, it also requires a program that is software that specifies how it should work. This program is called the driver of that equipment. Okay, suppose we bought a printer to be used with our computer. We can't start using the printer as soon as it is connected to the computer because it should specify how it should work. For that, we have to give a software that is a program means the driver of that equipment. We have to install the software of the printer inside the computer. Normally, when you buy a printer, its printer becomes operational when this driver is added to the operating system. From then onwards, it is the operating system that controls the printer. Like this, any hardware part of the computer should be added to the operating system using the driver. Okay. Now the third point is system for storing files. When we save a file in the computer, the following information is also saved. The name of the file, the location where it is saved, the format of the file, size of the file, etc. Okay. Now, can you say the three points once more? Yes, coordination of different application software packages, coordination of hardware parts and system for storing files. Okay children, it's time to wind up today's class. Thank you for watching.